The mouse is one of the most important peripherals if you're a PC gamer. Sure, it's a mandatory peripheral for any PC user, but if you're using your computer for work or just browsing, then any mouse will do and you don't have to think about it. In fact, some laptop users get by just fine without it. But if you're a gamer, you want to make sure your experience is the best it could possibly be. So the question arises, should you get a laser? or an optical mouse. Well, before we get into any further details, we'll briefly explain just how the two of these work. Both laser and optical mice use a CMOS sensor to analyze the surface they're being used on and the speed they're moving at. They do this by taking thousands of digital images per second. Where they differ, however, is in which light they use to illuminate the surface. An optical mouse uses an LED light, while a laser mouse predictably uses a laser. And both of these methods come with some pros and cons, so let's see how well they fare against each other in terms of sensitivity, accuracy and price. You may have heard the term DPI thrown around when it comes to this discussion or mouse sensitivity in general. This stands for dots per inch, and it used to be a way bigger deal than it is now. But nowadays, the gap between optical and laser mice isn't nearly as big when it comes to DPI. Not only can even a budget gaming mouse easily have a DPI of over a thousand, but because of the technological advancements in CMOS sensors, even a three-digit DPI mouse can achieve remarkable precision. So, while laser mice are technically still superior in this category, they don't have that big of a lead anymore. A much more important thing to consider anyway is the mouse's accuracy, meaning how accurately it'll be able to analyze the surface it's on. And this is where the differences between LED lights and lasers really come into play. As you can imagine, lasers are accurate. If they're good enough for surgery, they're good enough for gaming, right? But that's just the thing, they can be too accurate. A laser can actually penetrate the surface it's placed on. This means it can analyze the data in much more detail, sure, but this can also lead to the mouse overanalyzing the surface during slow movements which can lead to some unwanted jitter, although it does go in their favor that they can be used on any surface, which isn't the case with LED lights. Because an optical mouse uses light, you need to make sure the surface you're using it on is non-reflective, anything too glossy or prone to reflecting light, and it'll end up looking inaccurate and just about useless. And then there's the matter of price. In these kinds of videos, there's usually a big price gap, like with HDDs and SSDs or 144Hz and 240Hz monitors, where one is generally much better but also much more expensive than the other one. But this really isn't the case with optical and laser mice. It used to be the case years ago when optical mice were considered the budget gaming solutions and laser mice were reserved for high-end rigs, but it's just not the same anymore. Today, you'll find both optical and laser mice anywhere between a handful of dollars and several hundred. And these higher priced ones are usually slightly more advanced, with additional buttons and pretty lights, but this doesn't necessarily mean better performance. Our advice is to stick with the $30 to $90 price range. Anything lower and you risk lower quality in terms of performance and build, but anything higher is generally just a marketing gimmick. So which is better then, and can we even decide on a winner seeing how closely matched they are? Well, yes and no. We'd say optical mice are better for gaming, just because they have proven to be more reliable and more responsive of a two, which is extremely important if you're a gamer. Sure, they'll generally have a lower DPI, but like we've said, this is a hardly noticeable difference anymore. The only downside is that you'll have to use a mouse pad to ensure optimal performance. We'll leave a link in the description for the list of the best mouse pads currently available. Now, this is great and all if you don't move around a lot, but if you do, then you should definitely consider getting a laser mouse instead. After all, their greatest strength is that they can be used on just about any surface, even glass. This makes them a much better portable solution, although their tendency to overanalyze mouse movements still makes them less than ideal for gaming. So what did you think? Which of these devices have you used, and in case you used both, which has served you better? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you're getting a new mouse, then another thing to consider is whether you should buy a wired one or a wireless one. Make sure to check out our video where we discuss just that. And as always, if you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.